Hi, in this tutorial video we are going to cover the use of the simplified C block in PSIM. So PSIM has a built-in compiler for C, C++, and the uh, elements are found inside of elements, other, function block, and then at the bottom here there's the simplified C block and the C block. Um, here's the look at the, sim the regular C block, but we're going to look at the simplified C block in this tutorial video. What the simplified C block does is it just executes a set of code at every single simulation step. Um, and you can use and declare variables and use conditional logic, whatever you would like to do in that particular block. So in this particular example, we are going to build up a sine wave with some uh, frequency components uh, based on a fundamental frequency. In this case, uh, starting at 100, then we're going to look at 200, 300, 400, and assign an amplitude of 10, 3, 3, and 1.5 to them. So in, you can see here, I've got a, an array declared. Um, two of them actually, and I've got two for loops, and uh, we output uh, on Y1. So Y1 is, is declared for you here, outputs and inputs, so depending on what number you put in here. So if I put in four outputs, I would end up with four output variables. I only need one, so we'll stick with one. I can also call T and delta T, T being the simulation time, so starting at zero and incrementing from there, and delta T is the time step size. So that's what delta t is, and I can call that at, at any point. So what I'm going to do is let's just run this simulation and have a look at what happens. So we can see over here, we can see that we had sinusoidal in nature, but let's run the FFT to make sure that we've got the right frequency components. So let's just push this down to log. And then we can look with this tool here, the global maximum, we see at 100 hertz, we've got an amplitude of 10. Let's look for the next maximum value. We've got uh, at 200 hertz, we've got three. At the next one, we at 300, uh, we've got three, as we would expect. And then we should see 1.5 at uh, 400 hertz. So next maximum, 400 and, and 1.5. So everything looks like it's been working properly. Uh, so that's one of the, a, a simple version of what's going on. We can also see over here, I've got another simulation set up. This is, um, this is doing something very simple. Just a quick demo of, of how uh, things work with PSIM. So, so I'll just remove and change the signs and get these up. So we can see that I've got uh, a static integer and a regular integer. I'm both incrementing them. And then we can see in the results here uh, that the regular integer count is getting uh, reinitialized every single simulation step, whereas the static integer is actually incrementing with every single simulation step. So static variables, um, obviously you get to keep that, uh, that memory location. To actually look at the, the simplified C block in operation, we can look at the, this BLDC sensorless drive control, uh, which is the, in the example circuit. So if we just dive down into the sub circuit, we see that there's a number of C blocks that are in use here. Uh, so all the gating signals are being driven from a C block here. We can look at the speed calculation is also being done with a C block. Again, conditional logic, if statements, all sorts of things being done here. Uh, the alignment block, again, with C, C code. So you can put in your own C code. So we could essentially, if we really wanted to, we could replace all of this uh, all of the circuit here with, with C code and we could run that instead of, of having um, individual blocks set up, individual control blocks. So hopefully you've enjoyed this simple introduction to the simplified C block. Uh, we'll get into some of these other options here a little bit later on in other tutorial videos and we'll also get into the regular C block in a different tutorial video as well. So thanks again for watching. Check back again often for more tutorial videos. Thanks so much. Bye now.